active management here and I will be your button presser behind the scenes today. Hey, welcome to this session for the PT Council of New Zealand. It's called Nutrition Coaching, How to Remote Control Your Client's Diet for Breakthrough Results. Now, before I hand you over to today's presenter, Mr. Matt O'Neill, for those of you who are new to these webinars, you may ask a question at any time throughout the session. To do this, all you need to do is simply type the question that you want to ask into the questions section of the GoToWebinar control panel that you can see on your screen. And after Matt's finished his presentation, I will then pass all those questions over to him and he will respond to them verbally so everyone can hear. But without further ado, let me hand you over to Hilary Blackstock from the PT Council of New Zealand to officially introduce you to today's speaker. Over to you, Hills. Thanks, Anna Lee. Welcome and happy Friday, everyone. Thank you so much for taking the wise decision to take a few, well, half an hour out of your day to upskill with the awesome Matt O'Neill. Matt's an accredited practicing dietitian and a regular on Australia's The Morning Show. He's a director of Smart Shape Centre for Weight Management where he offers nutrition certifications and courses and is the creator of the Metabolic Jumpstart Nutrition and Weight Management System. On behalf of everyone listening, thanks Matt and we look forward to hearing what you've got to tell. Thanks Hilary and thanks Annalie for the introduction and thank you to all uh, watching this webinar for attending. I know your time is valuable and we only have a short time today so I'm going to jump in and uh, uh, answer what I think is the most common questions that you're going to have about how to add nutrition coaching to your business. I'm going to talk from my experience as a dietitian coaching clients. I'm going to show you some of my systems that I use and I think when you leave I want you to feel confident that you can start adding nutrition coaching to your services because it is definitely needed. The clear rationale for why we need to do this is because you need both diet and exercise to get results. Now you guys, if you're predominantly fitness professionals, are really good at the exercise part of it. You can make your clients do sprints and runs and push-ups, you can stand over the top of them and make them do it and they, they cry and moan but you still push them through that limit and that's why they come to you. So if you're a personal trainer, your clients are coming because they know you will make them do exercise. Now, the same rules don't apply to nutrition, do they? We cannot make people eat lettuce when they go home. It's not like you follow your clients home and you wait till they get inside and you say, right, now you've got to eat healthy. Um, you have to eat lettuce. I'm going to stand over you and you need to give me 20 mouthfuls of lettuce. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to you know, complete your task. But as a dietitian, we learn certain skills and techniques to remote control clients because we can't be there 24-7 to make them do that and we know how important diet is. So I want to share you a couple of those secrets and insights today. Question for you, of course, is, well, how much is diet and how much is exercise? And you hear figures bandied around like, oh, it's 70, 80% diet. And yeah, it is. I, I have a saying which is, um, exercise builds muscles, diet lets you see them. So it's as simple as that. You can do as much exercise as you like but if you don't do the diet part of it, you're not going to see those muscles, you're not going to feel them. And of course, you've probably heard this, you can't out train a crap diet. And the unfortunate thing is if you don't have some form of nutrition coaching or diet system in place, your clients will go home and maybe on the way home they will get a couple of donuts and they will eat those donuts and let's say you've given them a, a 500 calorie workout which is great, that's why they come to you to burn calories but they eat like a thousand calorie pack of donuts on the way home then the net result of that, and we don't have to do too much maths, is that they're going to get fatter and they come back and they blame you that it's not working, I don't know and it, it's such a loose system that there's no control over food. People their appetite goes through the roof sometimes when they exercise. You would have heard, had this experience. So you definitely can't out train a crap diet but you might be stuck for, well, well how do I do it right? Which diet do I follow? Um, you know, how, how do I get diet advice over to my clients? How do I make them do it? And to acknowledge the reasons why you might be stuck with that. And re remember, part of my job with you is just like with my clients. I'm nudging them, I'm giving them a kick in the pants to eat well 
And I want to nudge you guys or give you a kick in the pants to take that step to establish some nutrition coaching services. But I do understand the reasons you may not be doing it are, number one, you're still confused. I, you don't know, should I be going low sugar? Should I be going paleo? Should I, is it low GI? Does that matter? And, and the most recent thing going around, which is, you know, your macros. As long as you achieve your macros, it doesn't matter whether you get them from fast food or, or lettuce. Well, we don't have time today to go through all those, but I guess what I put forward to you is that I've helped 20,000 people, you know, change their diet and get results with nutritionally balanced, nutrition, nutrient-rich plans from all food groups, unless they have allergies or intolerances, in a way that actually remote controls them and gets them to change their diet. So sooner or later you've got to say, I'm not following the fads, I'm actually switching to nutrient-rich and I'm going to follow a healthy, balanced diet and also get my clients to do that. Of course there's number two, I'm not qualified. and. The quick answer on this is, unless you're a dietitian or unless you're, you know, a three-year uni degree, then you won't get near a nutritionist, you know, an official nutritionist qualification. Now, I don't think that should stop you from doing nutrition coaching when you can do the basics very, very well. And of course, I train people, I certify people in nutrition coaching as well. So you don't have to have an enormous qualification if you commit to doing those basics very, very well. Number three, not confident. Well, that's understandable. But remember, you've got so much competition out there from dodgy programs that are extremely confident. They're saying, do this lemon detox. It is the secret to weight loss. But of course, it robs you of muscle and it absolutely stuffs up your metabolism. So we know there are very confident shysters out there. You have to come across confident as well. Number four, no resources. That's very, very important. Think of all the, you know, your diet journal, your tip sheets on eating at night or, you know, how to eat healthy when you're out at fast food outlets. All these resources, which at the very basic level, you can find these on the internet. I have them available to use with our coaches as well. And it means that you should have a solution and resources to show clients. And I'll show you a couple of these. And number five, no business strategy. So you think, oh, I'll just add in some diet advice on the end of my PT sessions. But remember, you're running a business. And if you're running a PT business, you know you're charging clients for exercise sessions. I want you to charge them for nutrition sessions as well. So I want to nudge you through this. All these things, these can be barriers, but not really when you know how to get around them. And then the rewards you can get are when you see fantastic results with a client. Look at Erica Coates here. She's now lost 40 plus kilos and she's going for rides in biplanes. She's going up in the, in the eye. She's doing cable runs in the tropical you know, rainforest. This is her bucket list. And this is why we do what we do because we want to see clients achieve this. But her journey was she thought she could do it with exercise. And then when we started getting her onto the right nutrition program and that, you know, you couldn't get in her way. And this is the absolute fantastic emotional reward that we see. We also want to make money as well, and that's very, very important. So why add nutrition coaching? Well, because simply your clients get faster results. They feel more confident, they're accountable, and they feel supported because you're actually giving them more of a complete plan. Now, in terms of the proposition to clients, if I just show you this picture here of this ladder to success, I think, I think you've got to sell it in this way. So this is the sales part of it. What if you're the client and you want to lose 10 kilos, say? I'd say to you, you know, your 10 kilo goal, I, I could definitely help you achieve that goal. And we, we would give that a red hot go. But to do that, this is how I work or this is what we'll need to do. If we do the exercise training, then I can probably achieve, you know, 30% of the results that you're looking at. So we could lose three kilos if we just do the personal training. If we do nutrition coaching as well, if I can advise you on your diet, I can support you, I can check that you're reaching your targets for how many fruit, veg, dairy, etc. you're having, keep you the same accountability there, then I could get another 40% of results there from nutrition, okay? But you want to lose 10 kilos, so I, I'm going to recommend that we, we also establish a nutrition coaching program to complement the personal training sessions. Um, you've booked in for 10 PT sessions, I'd recommend 10 nutrition coaching sessions as well. And that way, 
that's how we're going to get 100% of the results. Now, out of that 10 kilos, how much how much do you want to lose? Oh, I want to lose 10 kilos and go, great, so shall we go with the, the full package of, of personal training and nutrition and the coaching as well, my support, you know, I'm on tap for you. Because if you don't pitch it this way, people will, they won't get the full package and they may not get all the results. And I'm sure you've seen clients that they, they're not actually buying into the accountability. Um, you know, if somebody just starts PT, you can say, oh, look, you're not getting those results. I think we had to have to add nutrition. You're not going to get those results. Um, so you can't keep promising all the results just from exercise. And I hope that that makes sense. You've got to be very, very objective about that. Because what that will do is that that will have clients thinking about paying you for the value that you add. So clients are paying you to give them guidance, to get started on their plan, to provide education, answers to common questions, accountability to follow their program, how to make adjustments. So they're saying, oh, you know, I didn't eat two fruit. How could I get more fruit in my day? So you have a discussion on it's fresh fruit, it's dried fruit, you know, options for them, um, solutions for challenges on the shift work of what should I do? And then you're going to ensure their success. So of course, unless you add nutrition, you can't ensure their success. So that's how you keep them on target. And I use this analogy of targets because if you're hitting your targets each week, so if you think about remote controlling your clients' results, I always think what are the targets they're achieving this week? Now, of course, there might be the weight loss or the measurement goals, but, but they're just their, their results. I'm thinking of targets. That's like how many pieces of fruit are you eating each day? How many liters of water are you consuming each day? How many hours of sleep are you getting each day? Sleep's very important now. What is your stress level out of 10? So I think to remote control clients, you definitely have to set them at the end of your sessions the targets that you want them to achieve and they have to know they have to work towards those and you will review them the next week. And that's just about the easiest thing you can do on nutrition. Let's pick it. Two fruit is your target every day. How are you going to achieve that target? What are you going to do? A quick discussion on them taking fruit with them, what their favourite fruit is, and away they go. That's the simplest nutrition consultation that you can do, okay? We all should be doing that. And then if you want to add on more consultations, and of course this one is about your nutrition coaching consultation session topics, okay? And within the scope of a personal trainer, are all these things. For example, how to get start, and I'm describing what I do with Metabolic Jumpstart, my program, which I call MJ, but this is what I teach our coaches in terms of what they can do. How to get somebody started, you know, on their report, you know, what is their metabolic rate doing? What should they be eating in terms of general healthy eating? If you've got your own website with resources, give them a demo of how that works. Show them some resources on, online in terms of healthy eating. Um, show them how an exchange system works where, you know, two fruit, five veg, three protein. You know, the Australian Guide for Healthy Eating has resources readily available. You can use that. Show them daily, weekly menu planning. It doesn't mean you put a menu together. Remember, for fitness professionals, it's outside your scope to give somebody a seven-day menu plan or even a complete daily menu plan. Now, the reason for that, very briefly because of time, is that you're, if you were, you'd be guaranteeing the nutritional adequacy of that diet. And you can't. That's what a dietitian does. It's just for exactly the same reason I tell people to exercise and I tell them to put more effort in to build their, uh, their metabolism. But of course, I don't give people sets and reps and rest periods and stacks and phases because that's what you guys do. You guys are the experts on that. For me to prescribe that level of detail would be going beyond my scope. So I hope that makes sense in terms of where your scope is. But giving them options for different pieces of fruit, for, you know, for dairy, for yogurt, for cheese, is really good stuff. Now, in terms of vegetarian or gluten or lactose free, that's where your clear advice, I think, really should be checked with a dietitian as to whether you need to go gluten free or not. I know that's the big trend at the moment. Unless you're intolerant to it, I wouldn't suggest it. There's good things about whole grains. There's good things about dairy, particularly for fat loss, unless you're lactose intolerance. Have a weekly topic or coaching. Do a tune up or an adjustment to somebody's plan. Show them how to read food labels. Do an eating journal review. 
um, goal setting, a motivation session. And when you're feeling confident, you can charge for these services, but you might want to list these as your services. So I'm going to give you homework on this and I'm going to give you resources to follow up. One of the resources I'll share with you is like an eating journal page. This is the template that I use and it lets somebody put down their supplements, their fish oil, their water, their hunger fullness, the food they ate. And, and my system is based on food exchanges. And that's what we've been terribly successful with. So this lets me add up how many food exchanges they're having. So they've got the optimum nutrient balance diet. But of course, I'd suggest a three-day eating journal is what a client fills in before they have a consult or an appointment with you. They don't need to do it for seven days. One day could be a bit. One day could be a bit random. So I think three days is pretty good. So once again, if you if you want to know what I do in an eating journal, I'd suggest three days. I'll send you this template. You can use it if you like, and that way you can analyze it before you see the client, and you've got you've got a head start on them because as soon as your client asks you questions about diet, you know some of them can chew up so much of your time. So you're trying to like quarantine when you do certain things. So that's one of your tools that you can use. In terms of what consultations you can offer, I think you've got to be really clear about it. I mean, you could decide, okay, I'll learn a bit from Matt today and I'm just going to start talking about nutrition and set a target for fruit, as simple as that, because that's all I, I really want to do. But no, back to what I said at the beginning, you can't expect all those results with clients. So if you, for example, offered consultations, you know, short, extended or a weekly program, a short one might be a 20 minute consult with a 10 minute buffer to do on the half an hour, a single topic or a progress review. An extended one might be a 50 minute consult with a 10 minute buffer. That's where you show them how to get started with healthy eating. You set some goals for how much weight they want to lose. You do an eating journal review and then you help them plan some, some healthy ideas for their menu in terms of the week ahead. And so then a weekly program consult might be 10 to 20 minute consult, a 10 minute buffer from there. So what I'm getting closer towards is, you know, how do you actually add this as a service? Now related to that too is, well, how do you take bookings online? How do you do that? And I'm just going to slide a web page over to show you a very simple program that I'd recommend you go and check out. I'm putting it over here on the screen now. And it's called Setmore, S-E-T-M-O-R-E. -E. I'll put this in the follow-up materials. And it's free. It, you can set it up in an hour or so and it can take bookings online. And I use it for my nutrition consult. So because this webinar is relatively brief, um, I wanted to give you some of the information for you to follow up. And if you go to uh, metabolicjumpstart.com forward slash consultations, you will bring up this web page here. It has booking policies. I'll let you read that. They're my policies there. And then you can book a short phone consultation and the information comes up on the right or an extended consultation. And because of time, I won't go through all the things I include in an extended consultation, but this essentially lets you know what I do for my clients. And this also lets you put a profile up, it lets you add the consultations, and it even links into your uh, uh, pictures that you can show on Instagram as well, and it puts all your information there. So go and have a play with Setmore, because what it allows you to do is has, have clients book in, choose you, and then they can pick the date and the time. It comes up on the calendar. This is in an app as well that you can use. That's just taking some time to do. You can book the appointment, put in your details, and then at the end of it, it links to a payment page. You could take that on PayPal, as easy as that. So go and check out setmore.com for how that works. And then what do you do in terms of follow-up? So you can see I'm stepping you through a bit of a checklist for what you'd need to be thinking about. You email with an action plan. And I call it an action plan because that's what they want to be told to do. It's just like your action plan with a client in terms of our action plan is you will do three exercise sessions a week. You will achieve an exercise intensity of like eight out of 10. You will do these exercises. Now, you may not be getting as specific with menu planning with nutrition, but the action plan is I want you to at least two pieces of fruit, drink this much water. If you've got resources and tip sheets, supply those on email afterwards. I have a selection that we use with Metabolic Jumpstart of over 100 tip sheets, so just about any topic. 
put in the next contact and instructions for queries for that. So you can see this is a lot about the system that you apply. In terms of client resources, the three areas that you should focus on are motivation, food ideas and more solutions. You know, shift work, eating out, food cravings, that's more solutions because you know everyone can eat healthy until one of these detours takes hold of them. So some clients, they just need motivation, some <coughs> clients want food ideas and so you could search the web for an hour and put together your own resources if you wanted to use these. And then in terms of remote controlling a client for targets, I'm showing you a picture of our target cards here. This is what I use. I give clients you know, two target cards which is essentially like a business card sized little tool where they tick off how many fruit, how many veg they've had and it's really powerful. And you can see here there's literally hundreds of target cards. This was for a, a PT challenge with Savvy Fitness in Wollongong a few years ago and they even got their clients to bring back these cards where they ticked off their food exchanges and they drew them a, a reward, a prize. They wanted like a month's free PT out of that. So you, you can incentivize people keeping records of their food. I mean no one wants to keep a food diary but hey, if I can win a prize, that's really, really useful. So that's an idea for you. And now we're, we're moving on to an app which will do this same process but very powerfully in your hand on your phone. My next bit of advice for you in terms of remote controlling client is get the information that you give them up onto their fridge. And the most simplest way to do that is to put a fridge magnet on the back. For some strange reason, it's so compelling that if you put a fridge magnet on the back of a, a piece of cardboard or something you give a client, they cannot help themselves but put it on their fridge. Um, so remember, this is about this psychology. And you might have a hunger fullness gauge. You might have um, an idea of snacks. You know, you can do this up on a Word file on your own computer. And if you're not doing this already, put a magnet on the back and give it to their clients. This is how I remote control because I can't be there in front of their fridge, so I get something on their fridge. The next slide I want to show you has got a lot going on on it, and that's why I'm going to make this available as a resource afterwards. In terms of packaging up nutrition with what you do, you've got a couple of options. If you're selling somebody's program, you can just retail it. Okay, You might sell somebody else's nutrition program. Of course, I'd recommend it comes from a dietitian, and of course, I'll have an offer on the end. I'd recommend you send mine, sell mine. Of course, I'm going to be biased on that. You could put nutrition into a results package. So say 10 weeks of PT, you could add in 10 nutrition coaching sessions. If you just want to do it for a 10 week period, and you don't want to commit to it ongoing, just, just do a trial, a 10 week results package with nutrition coaching. You'll get a couple of takers for that and that'll give you the confidence to keep on doing that ongoing. Your other option if I move along is a fitness challenge and that's where you say as we're doing a 10 week fitness challenge and you're going to get every month during that 10 weeks, one at the start, a couple in between, one at the end, you're going to get like a nutrition consult. You could even do it as a group consult as well and that will actually help people achieve that diet and exercise breakthrough they're looking for. If you're running a gym, you might have a premium membership for your gym whereby it's called the nutrition and fitness package, for example. I'm thinking it up and you might charge $5 extra every month to include a monthly review of your diet and resources, etc., etc. So I'm going to send this to you as an example of what you can do in these different packages. And of course on the right we have highlighted here nutrition coaching and how to do that. Remember there's detail in here, I'll let you read because of the time. But I will give you an example of how you could do a five week nutrition coaching program. And this mirrors what we do with Metabolic Jumpstart. The number of sessions, duration 20 to 30 minutes. The fee, let's pick a number, $50 a session. So that is $250 upfront for coaching. Then you might retail the program and get $329.95 upfront from your clients. Now that means whether, you, whether you've got a set program to sell with it or you just want to add nutrition coaching and do it freestyle, then $50 a session or whatever you're charging for PT, you could have somebody booking that session with you and that's your extra income. Rather than doing it from jump up and down, I call this sit down income. You're sitting down with the client to earn money rather than jumping up and down with the client to earn money. 
And you know, if some of you like me are getting a bit older, we don't want to jump up and down so much anymore. So what you're doing is you're expanding your income here. That's how to do it. And with that, of course, that allows us to let clients feel amazing. And you know, the recap on that is to say, well, okay, if I'm not confident about advising clients on nutrition, what do I need to do to get confident and feel amazing myself? One, you might say, look, I'll get certified, you know, as a nutrition coach. <laughs> Number two, you might say, actually, I need to work out what I'm doing in my consults. And I've given you examples of a short consult and a long consult. And I've even shown you on my website what I do. You then might say, to me, feeling amazing will be when I can package it up and I know this is going to be a product or a service. Well, I'll send you the packaging guide and I've given you a hint how to do that. So this is all about nudging you forward and I'd say our opportunity is so big. This obesity crisis is not going away and without nutrition, we're just not helping people and we're not making them feel as amazing as we can. So I hope that's helped. I'm going to open it up to a couple of questions now and then of course, I have an offer for you uh, at the end and some web links. Um, so I'll, I'll throw it back to Annalie now for a couple of questions. Uh, well, I'll invite some questions because uh, I, at the moment we don't have any. It looks like you've covered all the information in enough depth, but let's just see if anybody does have anything. I know that uh, Jean's out there. She's got about 15 trainers with her, having a listen all in the one spot, so that's awesome. Oh, here we go, Di. Di has said, what do you think of detox diets? They are very trendy here. I guess my, th there's a couple of key points. Remember, I've been doing this for 25 plus years. So the detox diets you see today, I saw 10 years ago and 10 years ago before this. And my points are, at any one time, something radical has to be popular because otherwise everybody would just have to eat healthy, wouldn't they? Wouldn't that be great? So that's why paleo is big at the moment. Um, detoxes are always big. The unfortunate thing about detox, if you think of how different that is to eating a nutrient-rich diet from vegetables, fruits, dairy, protein, healthy oils, starches, whole grains, it's actually real food that gives you the nutrients, vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, um, phytochemicals that allow your liver to detox. So as soon as you go on something like the lemon detox, you actually starve your body of the nutrients your liver needs to detox properly. And it's been documented. Your liver, the toxin levels in your liver actually go up when you do that. Now, sure, if you get off junk food and you just go on to a three-day liquid diet and then you eat healthy, it's probably a good thing. However, the detoxing often robs you of protein too in your muscles. And if that happens, your metabolic rate goes down. So when I see clients detoxing, I just think, my God, they're losing muscle. And I don't know for, I don't know whether I can get it back. And so it's so important to get them off detox. And I guess your proposition has to be like this. This is what I say. I say, I know you want to do a detox, but what if I could get you the same, if not better results with a nutrient-rich eating plan that was flexible, sustainable, and you actually felt like you could stick on it. Because I don't think you feel, you're going to have detox forever? No. What if I could show you how to eat and you'd feel confident about that and get better results? Would you try that? And you've got to lead the client in. You can't just say, don't do detox, eat healthy. Um, you lead them in and you're selling them on the idea of, okay, but and then you deliver and you show that you can prove it to them that they can eat healthy. So I think, yep, you've got to scare the client and say detoxes, this is the damage, but then you've got to care and you've got to care for them by showing this is what we can do now. I call that the scare and care approach. I like it, the scare and care. Um, a bit of feedback says fantastic practical take home advice and resources. Thanks, Matt. And another question we have is, what ratio are you recommending, for example, carbs, fat and protein? And do people training in the gym need to have more protein? And if so, how much? Yep, that's a good question. Um, with my clients, I give them an option. We have called a, a Protein Plus limited carb plan. <laughs> and we also have a regular, uh, regular protein, regular carb plan. And people that might be sensitive to carbs, i.e. they feel bloated, they, they feel um, full, they, they just feel sleepy, and that can happen. Some people have that, that physical experience of a lot of carbs in their diet. And so we go to limited carb, not low carb, because low carb can push up cortisol levels, and that has you craving foods and also retaining fat. So it's limited carb. 
it's higher protein. The higher protein helps with, with satisfaction and fullness and also potentially increases metabolic rate. And I'd probably encourage the majority of clients on that for weight loss and muscle building. You need about one to one and a half grams of protein per kilogram of body weight. And that's what those plans deliver. But if you're more of an endurance athlete and carbs just don't cause you any issues, then you could eat that. And if you eat a large volume of food, you'll probably achieve your protein intake anyway. So I actually customise things for the client depending on whether they tell me more or less they're, if they're carb sensitive we go higher protein and that has advantages I think is the default for a lot of people for weight loss anyway. Thanks Matt. Uh, one more question is what's your take on supplementation? Supplementation, the go-to ones I'd say are a multivitamin, not because I think you get miracle results with a multivitamin but I think that people have some potholes, uh, little potholes in the, in the road which is their diet and it maybe fills up those potholes but you know if the whole road of their diet has fallen away, <laughs> there's been a landslide uh, and they're eating junk food, it's not going to make up for that. So it just fills in the little gaps, I think a multivitamin. Um, in terms of brands, I don't have an association with a brand, I think Centrum has got a good balance. Um, and the other one's fish oil and, and we don't have time for fish oil but I'd say if you're not taking fish oil start taking it because chances are you don't get it from your diet and we know it actually now helps with metabolic cellular health and fat loss and the dose you need is a lot higher than normal um, and I regularly prescribe that and check people of achieving their targets for fish oil. Other things, um, there's just not the evidence um, and if you start <coughs> chasing supplements um, and experimenting yourself, well hey, keep that to yourself I'd say. Um, your clients may not uh, benefit from that, what I call that supplement um, merry-go-round. Just stick to the basics and instill that in your clients. Thanks Matt and one last question just following on from that one about supplementation. Um, krill oil has just been sort of released, have you got a, a take on that? Yep, the science on krill oil is that krill oil is absorbed about 20 to 30 percent better than regular fish oil. Um, and what that means is you can probably for the same for the same dose that you get into your body take about 20 to 30 percent less krill oil. But remember with fish oil it comes down to dose so it's basically you know how cost effective can you get your dose of DHA and EPA. So krill oil is not amazing, there's nothing really different about it, it's got slightly higher antioxidant levels than regular fish oil however we don't get antioxidants from fish or krill oil, really. They're relatively low quantities. You get it from fruits and vegetables. Um, you even get different antioxidants from whole grains. So the antioxidant claims are inflated. The um, fish oil component, just go for dose. And for example, do I take krill oil? No, because I know I just have a high dose of regular fish oil and krill oil is so expensive. Um, I'd rather spend my money on a new pair of uh, Asics Keanu 21s. Um, yeah. and, when you know, and when you know the facts and you're confident about it and for example if you and of course I'm not trying to boast but in terms of clients you've got to answer questions like this really confidently otherwise they will go elsewhere. So if, if you want to get confident then um, yeah, I'd certainly like to help you guys out because straight away you get them on the straight and narrow it's very objective there's no, there's no grey lines, here's the policy on this, here's the facts and then you get on with the results um, and you don't feel as frustrated so I, I hope that you, you're getting that vibe from me as well. Yeah, good one Matt. Um, we have one final question before we get on to your special offer. Um, do you have an opinion on protein powder? Is it a supplement or a food? Um, put it this way, if, you, if you're on an eating plan and, and what I'm sharing is essentially some of the rules of my program as well which, which comes down to how can you communicate I think all this science and have a rule that of your proteins for the day, you can replace up to one protein from a protein powder. Now that's essentially 700 kilojoules, um, which is about you know a 20 gram scoop of protein powder. And sure, if you're working out hard and you're on a gainer plan, so you, you could take two or three serves of that for protein powder. 80% <coughs> whey protein concentrate would be the one to go. None of these bells and whistles and polyaminos and all that sort of thing. Simple 80% whey protein powder with a flavour you like is really good and convenient because we know after strenuous exercise that you need uh, between 10 and 20 grams of protein and between 20 and 40 grams of carbs. If you're lean and you're trying to gain muscle, if you deliver that dose just then you'll gain it faster. So uh, protein powder is really, really convenient particularly for gainers, but if you're on a, a 5,000 kilojoule weight loss diet, 
you haven't got much protein that you can swap out for, for supplements. So it's somebody who's on a, a very low energy who's just taking protein supplements. I then then think you need to switch back to real food for the extra magnesium and iron and all those things you're going to get out of it. Awesome. Over to you, Matt. I think that's all the questions we've got for now. Hey, thanks, guys. Those were really, really good questions. And uh, between you and me, I, I can sit here all day and answer questions. And, and I hope you see the logic, not only that, but the practical applications for your clients. Very briefly now, uh, uh, because of time, I just wanted to, to let you know that if, if you'd like some assistance from me, and remember, I'll send you some of the resources that I've mentioned. And they're both to show you what I do as well as really nudge you to make your own if you want to. It's easy enough to do. But if you want help, I do train and certify people in the Metabolic Jumpstart program and we also have official partners. We have well over 70 uh, official partners, businesses from uh, national outdoor training franchises just down to individual PTs. And my offer to you guys is, as part of the New Zealand PT Council, that if you wanted to come on board with Metabolic Jumpstart, then please go and have a look at metabolicjumpstart.com forward slash club system. Check out the information there, request an information pack, and for $499, which is less than normal, you're going to get $400 worth of programs <laughs> to sell, so you almost make your money back. You're going to get coach certification. You can jump into our 20th of April four-week jump start, so you've got a, a deadline for a start date, and you'd need to jump on board by Tuesday after Easter, the 7th of April. So go and check out the information and have a look, request an information pack and I'll send you that special offer. The second one is my Smart Shape courses. We have a nutrition coach certification and I can offer you $100 off uh, each course for that program. So that saves you $200 Australian for a certification. That does that at about 550 Australian for a nutrition coach certification. That offer to you guys ends on Monday the 6th of April and check that out at smartshape.com.au. Um, if you email me, matt at metabolicjumpstart.com, that will get me anywhere. But please, you know, take this as a nudge to consider those offers. And I'd really love you to feel a lot more confident about what you're doing. And, and I hear some amazing things from personal trainers and nutrition and the results. And I'd love to be sharing that with you and joining you on your journey and your client's journey. So thanks so much. And I, I really appreciate you guys giving up your time today. Matt, thank you so much for sharing your expertise. Um, I'm sure everyone who attended or who's listening to the recording got a lot of useful info from today's session. So on behalf of the PT Council of New Zealand, thank you very much. Uh, thank you to everybody who's listening and um, I look forward to seeing you again here next time. So uh, on behalf of Active Management, I will officially close this webinar and wish you all a great day. We'll see you soon and uh, happy Easter.